Yo, what is up you guys? M2K here with a video. The topic for this video is the NBA Live franchise done with. Is 2K Sports the new king of basketball games? But the first thing I want to say is thank you to iPucking Carter for posting this on his channel and to thank him for helping out commentators with small channels like mine. And some information about my channel is I like to do co mostly commentaries for sports games like NBA 2K and Madden. For 2K, I do my player videos, quick ranked create a legend and for Madden I like to do a connected careers so I do a variety for both games anyway now that you know a little bit about my channel let's go down to the topic of this video basically what I want to talk about in this video is what led to the downfall for NBA live let's backtrack all the way three years ago when 2K Sports put out NBA 2K 10 and when EA Sports put out NBA live 2010 now if you remember a lot of people were frustrated with NBA 2K10. It was very glitchy. The graphics weren't that great. And it's just a lot of people were frustrated with the game. And for NBA Live 10, a lot of people arguably thought that this game, that game was better than NBA 2K10. Now, let's backtrack two years ago when both of these franchises went into opposite direct. Now, remember, two years ago, 2K Sports did something very unprecedented. They put Michael Jordan in the basketball game, and he was in the cover of NBA 2K11. And for EA Sports, they changed the name to NBA Elite 11. A couple weeks before the release of both games, NBA 2K11 releases their demo and NBA Elite 11 releases. For the NBA Elite 11 demo, it was very glitchy. The gameplay was horrible. It was just a mess. Days before NBA 2K11 was released, it got amazing reviews. And for EA Sports, about a couple weeks after they released the demo, they canceled the game. So for that year and the next, EA Sports did not release a basketball game while 2K Sports raised the bar for basketball video games. 2K Sports dramatically improved their video game from NBA 2K10 to NBA 2K11. They improved my player, they improved the graphics, they improved the gameplay, and everybody loved crew mode since the release of NBA 2k11 the game has sold 5.5 million units worldwide and on top of that they faced no competition whatsoever so a year later 2k sports releases NBA 2k12 EA sports again doesn't release anything as of April 2012 2k sports has sold 4 million units while they face no competition again. And then finally, EA Sports announces that they're going to release NBA Live 13. And of course, 2K Sports will sell NBA 2K13 early October. So both of these games were set to be both sold in October. And as the months go by, 2K has a 2K team up where they invite YouTubers that play the game to go play 2K13, including iPod King Carter. They release developer insight gameplay. They released screenshots, and all EA Sports has released in those months is a couple of screenshots. They were supposed to show some gameplay at E3, but they were a no-show for that event. As the months go by, 2K Sports continues to put out more information for NBA 2K13, and then finally, leaked gameplay footage for NBA Live 13 hits the internet. And the gameplay did not impress Anybody it looked exactly like NBA Elite 11 EA Sports even released a statement after the gameplay was leaked that it was a pre alpha build then sports finally releases their first trailer for NBA Live 13 and Then they have another announcement after that at the same day that the game is going to be delayed And then about two weeks before the release of NBA Live 13 EA Sports cancels the game so my question to you guys is NBA Live finished? Is EA Sports done with basketball games? Or do you think EA will make NBA Live 14 next year? Put in the comments below, but also check out my channel. It'll be in the description. If you love Madden videos, if you love NBA 2K videos, please come out and check out my channel. And once again, thank you, iPocking Carter, for letting me post this on your channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.